Peace. It's your boy Adequate representing that David is Entertainment. And today I'm going to show you guys how I feed my bearded dragon, Draco. But before we get into that, what I need you to do, hit that subscribe button. And I'll get back to you guys in a second. Peace. Holla. As you guys can see, I have Draco in the cage and I have everything in the cage. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to feed them crickets. And I feed them crickets that are about a little bit smaller than his head, with the top of his head, going this way, the width way. And I dust them with um, this Repsi calci Calcium so you can get more vitamins, more, more nutrients and vitamins and all that shit. So yeah, um, I'm going to go hop in the cage and take them out. See how well this goes. You got them keep. So yeah, there you have it. That's basically how I feed Draco on a daily basis. I make sure I take out all of his amenities and dust his insects. And the reason why I take out all the amenities to make it easier for him to find his food. So that's very important because if you keep the food in the tank, especially insects like um, crickets, they tend to hide and it's hard for them to catch them because there's rocks and trees in the way and stuff. And plus you don't want the insects to stay in the cage after feeding because they do tend to infect your herp when they bite them and sometimes they can kill them and eat them. So it's best to just clear out the cage of amenities and um, let your reptile roam free to get their food. And he actually likes it better this way too. So I've seen a lot of herpers do it that way and it is a bit of a headache having to take everything out and put it back in but it's well worth it for the long run um when it comes to having your herp have longevity 
and I also dust my insects with um this vita calcium it was repti calcium and it um gives them calcium and other vitamins that they need so all you got to do is just dust it on there and you should be good to go you should never feed your reptile um insects without using repti calcium and also make sure you always always wash your hands after you handle any type of reptile or any animal for that matter also when you use the goddamn bathroom make sure you wash your hands because if not get right so yeah um that pretty much wraps this up um i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions or any concerns let me know leave them in the comment section and i'll be sure to get back to you and also make sure to like share subscribe all that sweet shit that will be greatly appreciated so yeah it's your boy adequate representing that there it is entertainment peace peace holla there it is